everybody, it's Peter from Barefoot Kia. Did you know that you're loading your trunk all wrong? In this Kia class, we're gonna talk about the junk in your trunk. Did you say we're talking about booty? <laughs> so a couple weeks ago, we did a Kia class where we talked about the tailgate features, and I realized after we got tens of thousands of views that most of you, when you were shopping for your car, the salesperson never showed you the features of your trunk. Now, quick disclaimer here, Many of you are about to find out that the car you bought does not have a spare tire. And that's not exclusive to Kia. That's actually pretty common in the compact car class. They say they do it to save fuel efficiency, and that's probably true. Let's be honest, it's probably also a cost-cutting measure for them. Now, if you want a spare tire kit, you can get one. You can get one at time of purchase. You can get one after time of purchase. All of that happens. However, there's a lot of benefits to not having a spare tire, which we're going to get to in a second. Forget the spare tire conversation. Let's talk about the trunk. Imagine Gabby and I are going camping. We're gonna load the car. What's the first thing we're gonna do? We're gonna load everything right here, right? Wrong, we're not. Let me show you the features of this trunk. All right, now here's the load floor of the Kia Forte 5, and it could be any car. If you have a Kia Soul, a Kia Seltos, or a Kia Sportage, or a Kia Telluride, uh, a lot of the load floors can be pulled out halfway, dropped down, and slid back in, and you can have extra height. This car doesn't have that, but it does have underfloor storage. You can see I can flip up this side here, and you've got a little strap down there where you could put maybe an umbrella right there. I can flip up this side over here, and you have elasticized straps, same thing over there, and you could also put, um, you know, maybe an umbrella or something in there. What's cool about this car is I can grab this little tab here, and with one hand I can pull that up and attach it to, I should do this with two hands, I can attach it to the, um, the uh, sunshade or the uh, privacy shade up top and then I have access to a load floor down here. Now if you have a car with the underfloor storage something like a Nero can have it, the Forte 5 has it, this is a great space in a hatchback to put your gym shoes, something that might smell, maybe a wet um, you know t-shirt or bathing suit or whatever you got. Don't keep it in there full time but you can put it in there and it's a space where it will not stink up your um, you know, your car. So again, don't leave it in there forever. We don't want to let things dry out in there. Well, you can put that stuff down there and any with an odor or anything like a, even a laptop can stay out of the uh, area. It's a great spot there. Now, if you don't have a spare tire, you're going to lift this up again, like we're doing right now. And here is where I want you to start loading the trunk. A couple quick tips about the very, very lowest floor area. There's a lot of space down there. So let's say Gabby took an entire extra bag of stuff. I could fit it down there. If you're going on a long vacation, put the stuff down there to get it low in the car and to get it out of the way. And you've got a few extra benefits. If we're going camping, for instance, that is your inflator kit. That will blow up your air mattress. Also, anything in this area is going to be the coolest part of a car when it's parked in a hot summer day. So maybe you do have a laptop or something that you want to keep hidden. That's a great spot to put that. Now let's put things back and we'll show you a couple other features. Put this back in here, again, then you load up there, then you slide this down here, and then you load your load floor. You've already got half the stuff that was in your trunk underneath the load floor. But because it's a Forte 5 GT and we're going to be driving athletically, see those tie downs right over there? I want you to use those tie downs with your cargo net. Does your car come with a cargo net? Many of our cars do. If yours doesn't, you can get an accessory cargo net. That's going to go from corner to corner to corner to corner, and it's going to hold your gear down so you can drive athletically. Now, what happens if you're a typical Canadian like me and you go to the grocery store and you get your cans or your bags or soup of anything like that? You want to hang those grocery bags up on here or up on here. The Kia Soul has one on the right side. The Kia Forte 5 happens to have two. You will find those throughout your car and in your trunk. If you hang things that are going to roll out like oranges or apples or bang things of soup or real Canadian maple syrup in the glass bottle that you don't want to be banging around, you can hang that there. You're going to have a better load experience when you go camping or grocery shopping or anything else. Do you have a question about your Kia? We do a Kia class every week, twice a week. Sometimes it's something simple like the trunk. Sometimes it's more of the in-depth technology. Whatever you want to know about your Kia, I'm happy to help you. We also do a live video every weekday at 2 o'clock where we spend about a half an hour with a whole new vehicle. You can ask your questions in real time and we can answer. If there's any key information you want to know, this is the YouTube channel for you and we're hoping to earn your business. If you've liked this video, make sure you hit the like button. But also, if you're in the, in the market for a new car, swing by Brantford Kia. We'd be happy to help you out.